so let us see what are the classes that are available for the list so i'm taking an unordered list uh, then uh, ul tag and then li tag and i'm adding some content to it so i said coffee and then um, so i'm adding a sublist to it so ul um, a sublist so then again li tag and then i'm giving some content cappuccino and all that so i am giving one more sublist in coffee okay so this is the second sublist in coffee so i am closing the ul tag so the sublist i have closed and i am taking one more item in the unordered list which is lit okay uh, and let me close the li tag so which is li tag so let me close the ul tag so we just need to close the ul tag and then go to, uh, go to the browser and see so i got this is the uh, so the outer uh, uh, this, since this is a unordered list you can see like coffee before coffee there is a solid circle and the sub list has got the hollow circles in it so if you don't want this styling to be there you can use a class which is called as so inside the ul tag so inside the ul tag so i'm taking a class so i'm taking a class attribute here so i'm saying class is equal to so list hyphen unstyled okay so list hyphen unstyled so that's the name of the class so as i go to the browser and refresh it so you'll see that the outer styling has gone off but the inner styling will be as it is so the inner sublist is there right cappuccino and mochaccino which are the sublists of coffee so for them the styling will be there but the outer styling whatever is the rounded uh, solid circle and all that will go off so say for example i want the list to appear one after the other so for that there is a class which is called as list hyphen inline so that i need to give it in ul tag and inside the li tag inside the list tag i need to give list hyphen inline list hyphen inline hyphen item okay uh, so this will actually give us the inline list so i'll take off this sub list and i'll just keep the two elements in the list so for the second list item also i need to give the class as list hyphen inline hyphen item okay so let me close the ul tag and let us save this and go to the browser and watch what's going to happen so you can see that i got the list inline inline means in the same line okay so one after the other i got i can make this as a link as well by giving this in an anchor tag so here i am taking an anchor tag so a href href is equal to i am not putting anything because as of now i don't have any link then i have put home close the anchor tag so save it and go to the browser now you will be getting an hyperlink okay so inline list uh, inside the inline inline list you can also create something like this so let us see how to create the definition list let me show you the basic one and then we'll move on adding the classes to it so this will actually uh, give us a list one below the other okay so you can see like that is the d d t okay and this is the d d wt is the dt and uh, w web technologies is the dd 
okay we created this in terms of the definition list in the tl tag wt is the definition term okay so now say for example you want it one uh, you want the definition term and also definition description in the same line so that you can do it by using the class which is called as row so i am taking a row in the same row i am taking a column and for the definition term i am taking uh, four columns or three columns whatever it is okay so we know that our uh, uh, entire row will be divided into 12 columns so i am taking three columns for the definition term and then i am taking the rest of the nine columns for the definition uh, uh, description okay so i have uh, done this so when i do this what will happen is uh, the definition term and the definition description everything will come in the single line okay so i have done this so you can see that it has come in the so three columns have been given to the definition term which is wt and nine columns have been given to the description okay so which is web technologies so you'll be getting everything one after the other and definition term is in bold color and the definition description is in normal text so now i'll try to increase the text size of the description term so the text size is very long it's a very lengthy term so i'll show you how it looks like so when you refresh this you can see that the definition term is overlapping the definition description okay uh, since the length of the word is very lengthy it is overlapping the other columns as well so if you want don't want this overlapping to happen you are having a class which is called as text truncate so inside the column right so inside the w uh, dt column so definition term column so where the word is so lengthy in the same column dt tag okay so we are taking another class which is called as text hyphen truncate so how much ever is uh, fitting in the column it will take the rest of the letters it will truncate so meaning that it will take off and to say that there are still some more letters which have been truncated there will be three dots after the word okay so how much ever will fit in the three columns that much it will take and the rest of the letters will be deleted and you can see that three dots represents that the text have been truncated so we have used uh, class row class column and then uh, class text truncate um, to arrange the words in the list 